Why were people so mad that Twisters remade a good movie like Twister? They're both the same. What's going on people? Alex Thorne here and I'm just a rock and roller who in his downtime likes to watch movies while wearing a bandana. And this time I took this ride back in time to watch the original Twister. And I did it on 4K with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos on an LG C3 OLED and a Samsung C930 9.4.1 system. And I can tell you this right now, lots to talk about, but spoiler alert, this was incredible. The new Twisters movie is really just a beat for beat remake of Twister, which is not a bad thing because it brings those CGI effects up to date. Speaking of CGI, this 4K release of Twister really updates the CGI to a point where it looks competitive. Yes, it still looks out of date, but it looks competitive like it belongs and can go with today's CGI. That's really, really important considering when this movie came out and how CGI looked at the time. But what I noticed with the Twisters in Twister was that they're like really dark. The way they got around and not showing you as much detail in the actual tornadoes was by making them really dark. And surprisingly in this one that I don't remember in the new release of Twisters, the tornadoes in the original seem to have a roar like a monster. Um, <laughs> that that, that kind of stuck out to me big time while watching it. One of the other things that stuck out to me were the characters. I thought the characters were played really, really well because in a lot of comments like I saw saying to watch Twister, when I went to Twister on Letterboxd, which by the way, follow me there, right here, that's the logo and that's where you can scan and I'll also leave a link down below. A lot of people were saying that like the people are so overplayed and people don't really act like this and I'm like, People did act like this in movies at that time. For me, I thought everybody did so well. Speaking of so well, Helen Hunt did amazingly well as being relatable, just as relatable as the new actress who was in the new movie. Like they even dressed alike. They did so well in making her emulate. Even though she's not playing that character, she has the same vibe as the Helen Hunt character. The one person that really did though, I will say there's just one person in this movie that just irked me was Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton played such an angry ex-husband, especially at first, that it was just like, dude, she's not doing anything. Like she's not being a bitch. She's actually, is she delaying things? Yes, but is she being really nice to you? Is she doing things that are like smart ass in her own sense? Yes, but not crazy. Like he was exploding, as she said, biting her head off at any little thing she said. And it was like, dude, this is really uncalled for. So it made me not like him in the movie, which I don't know if that's what they were doing, what they were aiming for, because he does have like this baby face turn by the end of the movie. But like, I really was hoping like, okay, Helen Hunt makes it to the end and this guy doesn't. The Dolby Atmos mix on this, if you do not have a quality Dolby Atmos system, and I'm not talking about like the $200 system that claims it has Dolby Atmos, I mean real Dolby Atmos, 9.1, 11.1 system that is legit. My God, this movie, like we heard things behind, we heard things above, we heard things from that side. And that's that it's just, you know, in front of you with the tweeters that are up as well as behind and the behind ones. The rear speakers that I have on my system, the C930, also point upwards as well as outwards. And it's just incredible. Like the mix on this is just out of this world. 
all in all, at the end of the day, I think we need to get to the does it hold up rating system for Twister if you don't already know what it's gonna be. As for acting, I'm gonna give Twister four bandanas out of five. Is it dated a little bit? Yes, but everybody is spot on for the time. For effects, I'm gonna give it four bandanas out of five. It's as top notch as it's gonna get for 1995. And for story, I'm gonna give it a good four out of five bandanas because I actually like the new story a little bit more than this one, but this is right there. So with the question being, does it hold up? You all know the answer. And of course, this classic absolutely does hold up. And I am really shocked because the mid nineties, you know, were trying to do a lot with CGI and they didn't have to, but in a movie like this, you have to, because you know, it's either that or have, you know, the screen behind you like they used to do. And I'm sure they've done some shots like that in this movie too, but the 4K remaster of this, if you love this movie, I think it's worth having it on VHS and on 4K. Like that, so you can truly see the difference and appreciate the difference. I will be seeking out this movie on VHS now that I own it on 4K, just so I know what it looked like and what it looks like now. Guys, let me know. When did you see Twister? Were you able to see it in the theater? Did you see it when it first came to VHS? Did you own it because it was the first DVD movie to ever come out? Or is this your first time watching it now? Let me know down below. Are you a Twister fan? And have you seen the new Twisters? Guys, I'm Alex Thorne, and you know what I gotta do. Rock out so I can watch some movies and review them for you.